Got some sunglasses on. It might get a little bright. Uh, that's why I wear them. <laughs> that and so if I blink in the photos, I don't. People have a stupid picture of me with my eyes closed. Like that. D, talk about what this facility means. I'm to you, I'm talking to them. you can talk to anybody you uh, want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talk about this wonderful facility we've got here in Sioux Falls and, and what do you think it means for the kids? Well, you know, standing here in the uh, Brennan Rock and Roll Academy, I just imagine myself when I was a kid having a place like this to come to, to learn to play music, to meet other musicians, to play, to hang out. We never had anything like this. We would dream of something like this. So I think it's, it's just a great opportunity for kids to learn a craft, learn an art, and just socialize with other people in a great environment. Now, do you think with all the cuts in the schools, do you think maybe this is going to be more of the wave of the future to get kids back into music? You know, nobody even mentioned the cuts in the arts programs at schools, which is going on all over the country, and it's really tough. And, uh, you know, whether this is the wave of the future, having external environments where kids can learn music or whatever, or it's just a really great thing to have here in Sioux Falls, uh, we're blessed to have it, especially considering the cutbacks in the arts and schools. Now, Dee, uh, I know things, let's say we're a little contentious between you and your former bandmates and now your current bandmates again in Twisted Sister. How does it feel to be back together again? My wife and I were fortunate enough to be in the front row in, in Las Vegas, <laughs> and you killed it. Thank you. I mean, you absolutely killed it. Talk about that buzz again to get up in front of 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 people. And I know you guys are playing, uh, you know, like the Download Festival and, and all these festivals around the world again. How does that feel? Uh, again, past our heyday, but doing it again. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, Twisted Sister reunited over a decade ago now, and we do festivals and stuff, maybe a dozen shows a year. And, um, and you know, it's amazing to get out there. I never expected to still be out here playing, but I feel a lot of responsibility to the audience, to the fans, to not let them down. You know, I read some place where it said, uh, when a reunion is good, it makes you feel young, and when it's bad, it makes you feel old. And I've seen some great reunions where it did make me feel like I was back in high school, and I've seen some bad ones where it made me say, wow, the years really have gone by, just look at those guys. I don't want to be that disappointment to the fans. So when you saw me in Vegas, and they invite me to a show, whether it's a 90-minute set or two songs, I'm bringing it. And God help the rest of the bands that were there. They want to wear a sport coat? Go ahead. I'm wearing no coat. And I got that reference. We'll leave it at that. Dia, thank you for your time, and I can't wait to see you again this summer. Thanks, guys.